What is a Quincy? It's a mound of snow that you hollow out to make a shelter to sleep inside of. It's not an igloo, even though it looks like one, but it's a lot easier to make than an igloo. Why should you use a Quincy and not a tent? Well, a tent will not accumulate any of the heat that you build up. A Quincy will theoretically increase to minus one degree Celsius just from your body heat. A Quincy also shelters you from the wind. The first step is to mark out the perimeter for your Quincy. I'm six feet tall and I want to be able to lie down full length inside my Quincy. Add about one foot for the thickness of the walls on either side. And I think to be safe, I want to make my Quincy have a diameter of about nine feet. I don't have to mark up my perimeter this time because I already have a flat space here. I'm in somebody's backyard. So I have a big enough space to make a nine foot diameter pile of snow. I'm just going to start piling snow on top of it. When snow falls, crystals are formed. The powder snow has crystals that are holding the molecules of water far away from each other. When you disturb the snow, those crystals break, and then, given time, they reform. When the crystals reform, they reform in a way that's stronger. The snow still looks like snow, but it starts to be more like ice. It gets harder and it gets more stable. Don't pile the snow too high. You want both the inside and the outside to be roughly hemispherical in shape with walls about one foot thick. Pat the pile down, but not too hard. Place a couple of dozen sticks into the walls of the Quincy, sticking out a little bit. You want sticks that are about a foot thick. These are for a guide, so that when you're digging out the Quincy later, when you get to the end of a stick, you know you better stop digging, or you'll make it too thin and it'll break. I made these sticks by splitting a piece of 2x4 so that they're all the same length. But when you're in the woods, you can just go and break off twigs from dead trees and just make them all about a foot thick. It works fine. And now, you let it sit. Some experts say you should let it sit at least two hours. Some people are really conservative, and they let it sit overnight. I've seen plenty of good Quincy's where people only let the snow sit for half an hour, and it worked fine. It's really a matter of opinion. I'm gonna go inside and relax for a while and let this thing sit for about an hour and a half. See you later. Now we dig it out. We dig the door just big enough so that we can squirm through it. This is the hardest part. Take it slow so that you don't get sweaty, because that sweat you'll pay for it later. And have someone keep an eye on you in case it collapses.